Okay, so where are we? Uh, we're on problem number six now. And again, uh, the, the, the language has changed over time. But let me just you know, tell you that the, the, when you say number to most people, like if you said, oh, could you guess a number? They wouldn't give you a fraction. However, fractions are numbers. And they wouldn't give you an irrational number like root of two. Like if you said, could you give me a number? Most people would give you an integer. So I want to point out historically the word number was associated with the concept of integer, all right? Now, furthermore, as you keep reading this thing over here, they talk about these numbers as being odd numbers, all right? So, you know, odd numbers for most people, I, I, again, I really mean that. You know, if you thought about odd numbers, I'll write this down for you. Like you might say, oh, three is an odd number. What's the next one if it's consecutive? Five and then seven. And you get the idea. This goes on forever. I want to point out, they also go in the other direction forever. So one's an odd number, minus one's an odd number, yada, yada, yada. So as an abstract concept, what I would say is, I would, I would just simply say, oh, I don't know what the odd number is. So I'd say X is an odd number. X is an odd number. Now, of course, nowadays we say odd integer. So I'd say X is an odd integer. Now, if X is an odd integer, the very next odd integer, and when I say next, the one up from it would be x plus 2. So I'd say x, x plus 2 is the next one. And there's going to be four of them. And I'm, read, I'm reading that. They said there's four consecutive odd integers. I keep going up by 2. Okay? I guess I find four consecutive odd. I know he used the word numbers. He does, he does mean integers. Such that the product of the first and third well, this is the first, this is the third. What's the product? X times X plus four. Okay, such that the product of the first and third shall be less than the product of the second and fourth. This is the second and fourth. Let me write that down. Now, what do they claim? They claim the, the product that they initially spoke about is less than this one over here. By how much? By 64. All right, now again, granted, you're at a stage now where you've read the problem, you understood what they've asked for, and you got a relationship. What do you have to do now? Solve the equation. You're no longer thinking about the words. So I'm going to kind of multiply this thing out as if I were just simply solving a very simple word problem. I'm sorry, algebra problem. And you're going to get x squared plus 4x plus 64. And over there, getting a little better at multiplication. It's going to be x squared. And it's going to be 6 plus 2 is 8x plus 12. By the way, let me repeat this. x is an integer number. I'm expecting this thing to work out really nicely. Subtract the x squared from both sides. Subtract 4x from both sides. And subtract 12 from both sides. And 12, go, 12 from 64 is going to be 42, all right? And then what I do is, did I do that right? I'm sorry, 52, my mistake. I, you may wonder why I know I made a mistake. It, the vision's not working out nice. 52. And then I divide both sides by 4, and what do you get over there? Well, let's see, you would get 13, because 13 times 4 is 52. Now, is 13 an odd integer? Yeah, it is. So what are the odd integers? 13. The next one's going to be 13 plus 2, which is 15. Next one's going to be 15 plus 2, which is 17. The next one's going to be 17 plus 2, which is 19. All right? Again, you can check it with the wording if you want. But the bottom line is find four consecutive odd integers, which I did. And we got them. And the answer is over here. Again, if you're good at this, in other words, you can read these things and do these quickly, that's good for you. If you needed the additional support by looking at the blue area, that's fine. If you need additional support by watching videos, that's fine. Now, of course, if you need additional support beyond that, I mean, a teacher or a tutor might be helpful with this or watching other YouTube videos if you have it. All right? And that's it. Thank you so much.